Hello there, Mark Cunningham here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to manually reconcile Stripe sales and fee transactions that come into your zero bank feed. So in this video, we're not going to do it through any bank rules or connected apps. But if you'd like to use bank rules, I do have a separate video on setting up bank rules for Stripe transactions. And also, if you'd like to learn more about Xero, then make sure you check out the links to our courses in the description below. Okay, for this video, I just need to point out that I already have Stripe connected to Xero. So I'm not going to run through how to do that in this video. I do have a separate video on that, which you can find on my channel. And the transactions that we're going to reconcile have come through the automatic feed for that connection. Also, I'm using a live zero file, so I do need to mask some information for security purposes. Okay, so let's jump into Xero and Stripe now and see how this is done. Okay, so over here in Xero on the bank account screen, which you can get to by going to accounting and bank accounts, I've got my Stripe feed set up here, which I'll click into, and you can see that I've got three items there to reconcile. So if I just go into that, you can see that the first one here is some money received. And the second one here is some money spent. The first one is a sale that's been made through Stripe. So the customer has paid through Stripe. And the second transaction here is the fee that Stripe has charged. So they're the two um, transactions that we're going to reconcile. And if I go over to Stripe and I pull up that actual transaction, you can see here that we've got the amount there for $89 and then we've got the fee for $1.86 and then the net of the two is 87 and 14. So I just thought I'd show you this because you don't want to just be reconciling that 87, 14. You want to actually put through the gross amount and the fee so that you make sure that you actually get that fee expense there into your um, profit and loss statement as an expense. So without using any bank rules or anything else, the way that you can do this is you just go to the create tab for each one and then just fill in the who, what, or why. So this is a very manual way of doing it. Of course, you can automate this in other ways, which I've, I show in other videos. So for the who, for the sale, you can use the name of the customer if you have it here. And then for the what, we can put that to sales. And then for why, we can say something like, uh, sale through Stripe, or if you've got something else that you want to use as a description, you can put that in instead. So I'll just put some information in now. Okay, so I've just put some information in for this transaction. And for who, I've just said Stripe, but like I said before, if you want to, you can just use the name of the customer that paid you the money. And then for what, I've just picked a generic sales general ledger code there. So if you want to, you can pick something different. If you want to set up your own general ledger code, maybe specifically for sales made through Stripe, you can do that and just code it there. And then down here for the description, I've just said sale made through Stripe. But again, if you want to put something different in there, you can just go ahead and do that. Okay, so down here for the fee, I'll just put some information in for that one as well. Okay, so for who, I've just said Stripe. And then for what, I've got this general ledger code specifically set up for Stripe bank fees. So you can set one of those up if you like. Otherwise, if you want to, you can just use a generic bank fees general ledger code and just put all your different bank fees in there if you want to. And then for the description, I've just said Stripe fee. So those two are ready to reconcile. So we can just click on OK for each line. OK, and that's done. So that's how you can manually go in and reconcile your Stripe sales and the fee transactions that come with those sales. It's a process that can get quite time consuming if you have a lot of transactions. So make sure you check out um, other videos that I've got here on how to automate this through things like bank rules.